that was back in 2012, shortly after I bought a share in this magical club, Real Oviedo. Little did I know back then that one day I'd get the opportunity to actually manage this beautiful, beautiful team. Now that they're back in the Liga Adelante in Spain, I'm going to take Real Oviedo under my wing and carry them all the way to the bank, Spencer FC style. And just to reiterate to you how special a club this is, look what happened when I told them I was going to do a Real Oviedo career mode on FIFA 16. They only went and sent me a video of some of their actual players welcoming me to the club. Take a look at this. Welcome, Spence. Welcome, Spence. Welcome, Spence. Now that's pretty special. I think you'll agree. We've got lots more stuff like that planned for the entire series. Me and Real Oviedo in real life as well as FIFA 16. Let's jump into the action. Alright mate, how you doing? And welcome to the first ever Real Oviedo career mode. Come on boys, you don't know how long I've been waiting to do this. They're finally back in the game. We're going to have a lot of fun with this. Trust me, this is going to be one of the most interactive innovative FIFA career modes of all time because me and the club we've got a lovely little relationship we've got some cheeky things planned but most of all the key mission is getting Oviedo back to where they belong the upper echelon of football not just in Spain but in all of Europe if not the world that's what we're going for let's start this career shall we don't forget guys if you're happy to see my brand new career mode on FIFA 16 make sure you drop the video a like and let me know in the comments below come on the Oviedo boys right we're doing a manager career Oh, what's this? Based on your FIFA 15 career progress, you're entitled to the following perks. Some of the items are optional. 60% increase to your transfer budget. I'm taking that. We need all the money we can get, Oviedo. I think we only start with a 1 million pound budget or 1 million euros. So I'm going to take the 60% increase. One top global scouting network scout. Yes, I'll definitely take that as well. We haven't got the other stuff, so that's fine. Let's advance. Okay, we're going to the Liga Adelante, the league that... Real Oviedo have returned to, there they are, 69 attack, 68 midfield, 67 defence, they've got a 1 million transfer budget, 158 and a half thousand pounds weekly wages, let's go. I'm going to put the currency on Euros, I think that's more appropriate, I'm putting the difficulty on World Class, because I'm not ready for Legendary on the new game yet, World Class will still be a challenge. There we go, Owen set to take Real Oviedo by storm, I'm there, I've arrived, I am the gaffer. Okay, pre-season tournament invite, this is a new feature on FIFA 16. Congratulations, Real Oviedo have been invited to participate in a pre-season friendly tournament. This is a great opportunity to get to know all the players in your squad, I need to do that. Experiment with different tactics and get them ready for the upcoming season. There's also prize money for doing well in the tournament. I'll accept. Oh, these are my options. Do I want to go with the most prize money possible? Or do I want to go with one that I may be more likely to win against the weaker clubs? 2.7 million euros to 3 million euros. It's difficult, but I'll go with the big bucks. 3 million euro competition. Here we go, we're in. Right, we've got some news in the office. Domestic Cup objective. They want me to reach the round of 32 stage in the Domestic Cup. We should look for a striker. The board are telling me we need to look for a striker. Mid-table. They want me to finish mid-table in the league. All right, that's achievable. I want to go for promotion, personally. Right, this is his scout report he's come back to me with. Apparently, we need a striker. This guy's at Real Madrid right now. Doesn't look great. Oh, the scout has brought Andre Iniesta to my attention. I mean, if he wants to come to, uh, <laughs> if he wants to come to Oviedo, he's more than welcome to. He's worth 43 million euros, though, so I think I'm going to be a little bit short on that one. But I like his optimism. Oh, we've got a quality scout here, Philip Barami. I wonder if he's related to Valon Barami. He's five star. Where shall I send him? Well, we need to get some Belgians in early doors, don't we? So I'm going to send him to Belgium, see what he can find for us there. Now, training is the other new feature for a FIFA 16 career mode. If we go in here, you can see you can add drills and you can train them on specific qualities. Before we crack on with training in our first game, let's take a look at our squad. So, Linares up top, Font in behind, Hervias and Societa on the wings, then we've got Villa and we've got Eris in CDM. So it's a 4-2-3-1 is what they're suggesting. Peña, Gomez, Fernandez and Fernandez, uh, centre back and right back. And then we've got the legend of Oviedo, Esteban, well into his 40s now. He's in goal, 72 rated, our highest rated player in fact. On the bench we've got Touche, Touche. Uh, as an option as a striker, we've got Ginelio, we've got Valle, we've got Aguero, okay. We've got some options here. Now the big boy, where is he? Severo, the doctor, they call him. This guy's a legend. If you watched my video when I went to the playoff game last season, you saw the guy that scored, kept him in the game and then went mental when he scored. That's him. He lives and breathes and bleeds Oviedo. 1-0 down at home with 15 minutes left. Real Oviedo turned to a man who's been saving them for years. Diego Severo. This guy lives and breathes Oviedo. In three different stints at the club, he's played 235 league games and scored 139 goals. 
make that 140. We're definitely gonna get him involved. Ongba, I wanna get him involved. Kone, I wanna get him involved. Okay, well I think before we crack on and do anything else, I'd like to get into a game and just assess the situation I've got with these boys. Okay, we've got our first game. We're playing Michelin in the European International Cup. Can we get a win in our first match for Real Oviedo on FIFA 16? There's the kit. Look at that beautiful, beautiful kit. Yes. Here we go, Oviedo. Let's do this. Come on, this feels good. Here we go, boys. Come on, let's make something happen here. This feels good. Keep that ball. Keep that ball. Drive it down to him. Yes. Villa. Inside. Bang. One more to him. Bang. Here's Dylan Oh, it's a good start. Can we get a shot away? Woo. Oh, lovely play. So Sieta, play him. Play him now. Here we go, Linares. Can you get me my first goal? Right, oh, you've got a little bit. What's a penalty? That's got to be a penalty, ref. Are you sure? Bloody hell, the referees from Sporting Yeeha. They are Real Oviedo's rivals, by the way, in case you don't know. Uh-oh, well defended. Get rid. Keeper, Esteban. Esteban! Esteban! Bloody heck, Esteban! Okay, they're bossing possession a little bit at the moment. We need to get it back, please. Way too much room here, boys. Way too much room. Way too much room! Oh my god, we almost conceded. Good tackle, Gomez. Now we go. Now we run with it, Gomez. Bang. Play him. He's onside. Linares, what can you do for me, Linares? Is this your moment? Linares pulls inside. He tries the ball across to nobody. Oh no, stand him up, boys. Stand him up. Oh no! Oh no! What a goal! Oh my god. He's just scored a screamer. That's the Belgians for you. That's what they can do. You can't take those risks. Look at this goal. He bangs it. He wasn't even looking at the goal when he hit that. Okay, this isn't ideal. I know one thing they've added to um, to Crimo this year is that in the preseason you can do as many subs as you want. So let's get some subs on. Let's get a Reese off. Wasn't very happy with him. Let's get Kone on up front. A bit more pace. It's got to be now, boys. It's got to be now. To Sieta. To Sieta. Oh, knocked down. Oh, no. The final whistle is gone. Our first game is a loss. However, it doesn't really count as your first game because it's a friendly, not a first competitive game. All you really want from friendlies is fitness, learning about your players, learning about your formations. I learned quite a lot there. I'm going to change it up next game. All right, I'm going to look to add some players to the squad now. I'm going to search to see who's available on loan because I think loan, the loan system could be a good way of getting some decent players in this club. Okay, Andreas Pereira. I've heard of this guy. I know he's got a little bit about him. I might have a little look at him. Okay, Deli Ali is available for loan. Deli Ali would be an amazing player to bring to Oviedo on loan. So I'm definitely going to try and get him involved in the club. Can you imagine that? I'm basically using my links to the English game to try and find some players that I know are decent. Harrison Reed, I've heard some good things about. So I wouldn't mind bringing into the club as well. James Wilson is another player that would be great to bring to the Carlos Tatier if possible. Joe Gomez, I wouldn't mind him either. Okay, time for game number two now against Wolves. I want to do better than that 1-0 defeat. Okay, I'm going to try a different formation this game. I want to try 4-5-1 like that. Uh, I'm going to take Linares out for Kone. I'm going to give Gennario a start in the centre mid. Valle is going to play on the left. Right, let's give that team a go. Here we go, boys. Let's do better this time, please. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Almost went 1-0 down straight away. Here we go. Play it. Bang. That's the ball. Villa's gone through. Jonathan hits it. Villa. Yes. Our first goal for Real Oviedo comes from the central defensive midfielder, Jonathan Villa. He can also play centre-back. He can also score goals by the looks of things. 1-0 to Oviedo. Lovely, fast play. Brilliant through ball. I don't know what he was doing up there, but he didn't get a nosebleed. He banged it in. Come on. Look at that beautiful, beautiful man. Go on, Kone. You got this, Kone. Oh, Kone, that's beautiful from you, Kone. Kone, can you spread it to him? Kone for goal number two. Oh, no. Hector Font. Hector Font. Hector Font. Great play from Kone. He's absolutely shanked the finish, though, Fonty. Out. Out. Oh, come on. Esteban has not had a good start to the season for me. He had a bit of a mare in the first game. I know you're getting old, Esteban, but come on. I need you to still have hands. Not another ball. Oh, for God's sake. They're just putting balls into the box. Who is that target man they've got in there? He's winning everything. We've changed it up a little bit. Hopefully, we can turn this round, boys. Come on. Two up front now. Let's go for this. Good header from Touche. Font to Kone. Kone. Oh, he's gone around his man. Oh, he's gone around two of them. Kone. Keep that ball. Kone. Hit it. Ah. Oh, no. The final whistle's gone. It's another defeat. But 
some positives to take from that. We've got our first goal. Like we said before, this is still just a friendly tournament, so I don't mind about losing these games as long as I'm learning something. Okay, I've had some interesting offers accepted. Harrison Reed loan has been accepted. James Wilson, Ian Acho, Man City who just scored for them the other day. Patrick Roberts as well. So I can take any of those guys. Okay, while we let those transfer offers just settle in a little bit longer, I'm gonna do some training. So let's add a drill. I wanna train Kone on his distance shooting. Okay, Linares, I wouldn't mind training him on a dribble course. Let's work on Hervias's beat your man, yes. Let's work on Ongba. He's not in the team at the moment, but I want to get him involved. Let's stick him on El Rondo. Let's go Gomez. Let's get him to work on his two-on-two -two defending. Right, that's what I'm going for. You can simulate these, but I'm going to play these now to see what they're like. So distance shooting with Kone, okay. Kone, hit that, bang. Oh, it's a goal. Lovely start from Kone. Bang, hit it again. Oh, it's another goal. And again, Kone. Okay, saves that one. Bang that. Kone. Oh, straight in the keeper's hands. Come on, want one more goal. Hit it. Kone. Oh, for crying out loud. Right, we've missed that one. Bang. Oh, what a finish. That's decent. Okay, we've got a D for that one. Let's move on from that. Dribble course with Linares. This could be interesting. God, bloody hell. Look at this. Okay. Come on. Nice. 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 Yes. 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 Through the cones. Here we go. Right. Now we're, oh, we're racing someone now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Keep going. Yes. Keep going. Now what? Good result. We've got a B. Okay, I'll take that. I'm happy. Beat your man. Right. Okay. Go past him. Go past him. Oh, that's just pure pace. Two of them now. A ref. That is a foul. We've got an F for that one. Okay, that was quite hard. El Rondo. We've got to try and intercept the pass from the opponents. Okay. We've got one. That's all right. They absolutely send you all over the shop. Get that one. Yes, Ongba. Bang. Yes, I got that one. And another one. Oh, no, it's just me now. This is where it gets really tough. This is ridiculously tough. El Rondo. Oh, no. Look at them mocking me. They're mocking me. That was embarrassing. We've still got a B though. I'm happy with that. Okay, finally, it's two on two defending with Borja Gomez. No, he's mugged me off. Come on, don't let him get a shot away. Yes, I got that. Well done. You got that, you got that, Borja. Well in. You got that as well, Borja. You got that as well. Come on, that's good defending. We smashed it. I think we might have got a good mark for that. Another B. All right, that's not too bad. So the, the B and the, the two Bs that the uh, Gomez and Ongba got did really well for them. The F obviously wasn't great for Hervias. But the stats went up a little bit, you can see. Oh, I'm happy with that. Okay, guys, we've got our final match of the episode. Our final match of this pre-season tournament against Wigan. Obviously, we've lost both our games. We can't win the tournament. But hopefully, we can come out of it with a point. At least one point against Wigan. Not going to be easy. Obviously, former Premier League team. But we'll give it our best shot. I've changed the team up a little bit. I'm going with a 4-4-1-1 formation. I've given Aguirre a start on the left. I've brought Touche in for his first start. Let's see what they can do. Here we go, chance here, chance here, bang, through ball, first time, get there, get there, oh he's cleared off the line, no, bang, play that ball, go on, get there, get there, almost, touch, hit it, Hervias, get the shot away, hit it Hervias, no, don't try and dink him, oh man, win that, here we go, we're making something happen here, bang, that's not great, but we can win that knockdown, it's a great ball in, hit it, oh we should be 1-0 up by now boys, Lovely ball. Here we go. Cut inside. Play that ball now. He's onside. Linares, I know you are. You're onside. Hit that for me. Deflection. Hit that. Header. No. Come on, boys. We're all over them. Oh, yes, they're going to whip this in. A little bit of curl this time. Head that. Oh, my God. He saved it again. Quality half, boys. Tell you what, if we play like that in the second half, we will win this game. Oh, no. He's got to be offside. He's got to be offside. He. No. This is outrageous now. I mean, the other two games, fair enough. But this game, we've been all over them. They haven't had a single shot. That looked like it was offside as well. And now, we're 1-0 down with very little time left. Unbelievable. I mean, I'm just glad this isn't the league. Because it's just unfair. I'm getting some subs on, but I think it's too late for us this game. But that is... I mean, this is what... You know, playing on a, a tough difficulty, even, even at world class on FIFA 16. You just can't... You can't take your foot off the gas for five seconds. Severo's off the bench, though. He loves it. He loves this team. He lives and breathes Oviedo. Severo, hold it up. Bang. Lay it off. Bang. And again. 
Yes, hit that. Bang. Oh, we can't get the shots away. Look how many bodies they've got back. There it is. It's the final whistle. It's another defeat, but that was our best performance by far, particularly in the first half. And again, I'm not, I'm not disappointed. We weren't going to win the tournament. Yeah, it would have been nice to pick up a point in this first episode, but we've learnt things. We know who our strong players are. We know who the not-so-strong players are. I think I know I need to do a little bit of business in the transfer window. It's just important. I mean, look at that. They had one shot. Yes, they had 62% possession. They had one shot to my six. I think the key thing is how I spend my money, because I haven't got a lot of money to spend here. I've got to make sure the money I spend is spent cleverly, and I bring in players that are first-team players that make us better. Let's remember as well, those championship clubs I lost to there, Wolves and Wigan. The championship in England is a much higher level than the Liga Adelante in Spain, the second tier of Spanish football. So I'm, I'm confident we'll be one of the better teams in that league. The loan offer for Delhi Ali has been accepted. I would like to take him to the club, I really would. It's gonna half my wage budget in half. Oh, it's dangerous, isn't it? It's dangerous. Well, as a result of your performances, we've got some additional funds in the uh, from the tournament. We didn't make out the group stages of the European International Cup performance, but the board don't really care. It was a tough, it was a tough group. Okay, we need to decide who we're going to take on loan here. Well, we've got Deli Ali. He's going to cost me half my wage budget. Reed is only going to cost me seven. Wilson's eight. Gomez is eight. Ianacho is eight. Deli Ali is going to take the most of my transfer budget away out of anyone else. I'm not sure on his actual stats. They're not as good as I thought they'd be, to be honest. If we look at the likes of Reed. His stats are actually quite decent. Okay, I've put some more offers in. I've inquired about the likes of Akin Fenwar, Benica Phobie, Will Hughes, and uh, Martin Odegaard on loan as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm not actually going to do anything about these transfers until next episode. I want you guys to help me in the comments below. Who do you think I should go for? What are the areas I need to improve? Remember, we are playing in the second tier of Spanish football, so if you suggest a lot of well-known established names, it's unlikely I'm going to be able to sign them. They need to be young, probably. They need to be cheap. You know, maybe a loan deal, maybe a signing. I haven't got a lot of money to play with, just a couple of million euros. So be uh, be conservative with your suggestions. But if you know any hidden gems like Martin Odegaard, like young guys in the lower leagues, they could be perfect for us at Real Oviedo. But that is where I'm going to end this first episode of my Real Oviedo career mode. Don't worry about the results today. We were learning things. I'm feeling positive about the season ahead. Mid-table is all they want us to do in the Liga Adelante, but I'm secretly pushing for promotion. I'll have you know, so look out for that. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. And don't forget, we've got lots of very exciting plans for this career mode with what I can do with the club in real life as well as on FIFA 16. So, I'll see you on the next one. Subscribe if you're new. But until then, don't go changing.